Hello and welcome to Good Earth San Diego. We are going to uh, part one of how to make compost. All right, what we got is um, the basic ingredients. We need dirt. Um, clear out a space maybe in your backyard in the corner somewhere secluded, maybe not in total direct sun, but a little bit of sun. Um, and just clear it out and make sure that generally the idea is when you're building your dirt to uh, practice the three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle. So make sure that nothing, all your grass cuttings, your yard cuttings, your trimmings stay in the yard because that is great material for your compost. We just trimmed a tree in our yard, so I have uh, good tree trimmings. Again, I've got dirt. I've cleared out a section here. I've got gloves. I've got loppers in case I need to cut anything up. Worms love uh, cardboard paper, so I have an, uh, a phone book that I can rip up. And also I have ash from fire, from our fireplace, or you know, from if you go to the beach and you do a bonfire or whatever, take the ash home with you because it's good to put in the garden. So the idea with compost, it's kind of like layering a cake. So you want to work in layers. You have your dirt cleared out, ready to go. Maybe spread a little ash in there. Not, not too much. Uh, rip up some of your old phone books. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Throw some of that in there. Worms love it again. Uh. Oh, the other, the other main ingredient I forgot, which is right over here is uh, cuttings from your kitchen. I don't know if you can see that or not, but this is all stuff from our, from our kitchen, cuttings, extra things that are compostable, um, no meat products, no dairy products, just uh, vegetable cuttings from salads, uh, tomato tops, cucumber tops, that kind of a thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, gonna add this there. We're going to spread it out a little bit. Now a lot of people worry about the smell, the smell of compost. If you do it right, it actually smells really good. It smells uh, healthy, smells uh, woodsy, kind of earthy, good earth. Just kind of want to mix that up in there. Maybe throw on some more paper, cardboard. Let's take some of our tree trimmings, lopped up, kind of coarse but still small. Let's throw some yard clippings in there. Okay, so we've got layers now. Just work in layers. And then take some of your dirt, kind of sprinkle it over there. If you don't have dirt already in your yard, you can go get some good organic uh, soil or compost at your local nursery and just add that to the mix because the life in your yard will all mix together to create really good dirt. And then we're gonna add some of that. And then, uh, then we're just gonna cover it up. Lock in the moisture. And, uh, and water it a little bit. Soak it down. And, uh, and repeat. Just do the next layer. 
and it builds up. Let it let it uh, let it cook. Let let the uh, the life in it blossom, and then uh, you're you're on your way to making good earth in your own backyard. Um, I will do part two of this series next and show you what that turns into. So thanks for uh, watching. I hope this helps. And uh, if you have any questions or, or comments or whatever, go to the blog, goodearthsd.blogspot.com or just Google Good Earth San Diego. All right, see you.